Đây nè upside down too. Oh, that's oh, good. You want, it, you want me to put it further in? No, that's good. Leave it here. That's fine. I got to sign anything? I, I already took a picture. You already did? You, whoa. Oh. That's all right. That's okay. You didn't hit the glass. Yes, sir. Nothing. He just scratched my truck. That's all right. I'll get that out. Wasn't bad. Oh, Yeah. All right. Let's see what's in this thing. This side has this on it. Yeah, that side's missing. Mm -hmm. No, it has one. It's just been pushed over. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that one's pushed in. Yeah, and what happens when they get pushed in? It sucks in the screws here. So it dents the fender. Let's see what this one looks like. That's not too bad, really. No, that one's pretty straight. It's a little in. Should be the charger here. Yeah, you just gotta yank from the bottom. A lot of people have a hard time with that. It, it, if it's down here, put your hand on the bottom and yank straight up. And then all these things go just like that. A little bit, not much. Just for now, right there. And then bring that back and snap it. See, it's loose. And that's what tightens it. Loosen this up. Tighten this up. Tighten that. And then bring this back over again. It's a little tough, but now it's not as loose. Should be able to do it by yourself. Rock the bike backward. And bring the wheel forward. Yep, just twist it around till you see the the female end, and there's a male end. Don't jam them. Make sure they're straight. You'll kind of feel it. I think a lot of people jam these, and you'll feel it click. Yep, make sure that one's nice and tight too. Let's go ahead and take the battery out before we put the seat on. Torque it all the way and lift up. It has, a, it has a, a spring load, so you want to hold on to it and then pull it up. Plug this in first. It doesn't matter. Swivels. This end there, your, and then the power. I bought some brake clean. There's oil all over this bike. Even the tires are oily. Um, you can see there's oil on them. It's, it's everywhere on the pedals. There was a guy earlier his feet kept sliding off. They're, they're literally kind of greasy, kind of oily. We'll get that with alcohol. Down in here are the brake pads. What I'm going to do is take this nozzle and spray the brake pads clean first. And, you know, try not to get it all over the place. I don't know if this will eat the paint. I doubt it will, but... Get as much grease off there as possible. Yeah, and just for fun, I'm going to, uh, you know, there's, this could be oily inside this tube. Go ahead and spray that tube out. Nice thing about this is if it's too high, you can just Press this little button and boom, it's right there. It's a beautiful, nice bike, but to ship it like that, I, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Probably could have taken the wheels off, I don't know. Taken the wheels and fenders off and stacked them up here somehow. But that's just me. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the video. Like this video, go ahead and like it, and uh, subscribe. 
Uh, I'm going to do a lot more with this once I get it straightened out. I don't know if I should ride it or not with these bent wheels. I don't know what the warranty says, so I'm not going to touch it until I get in touch with electric. Uh, so, thanks a lot and bye.